Hello everyone, John Tabor from UDS Brown & Brown Dealer Services. You know, we've all heard no thank you, or a version of it at the end of our menu presentation. So how do we turn a no into a yes? Let me ask you this, have you ever heard the old joke about the socially challenged guy who asks out the head cheerleader on a date, and then she responds, if you were the last man on earth, I don't think I'd go out with you? And then the guy responds to her, you said you don't think you'd go out with me, so what you're saying is I have a chance? It's kind of a funny joke, but the poor guy in this joke understands something that a lot of F&I managers don't, and that's you must go from a no to a maybe before you can get a yes. When we hear a no, we can become defensive and we want to react with, why not? Or we say something like, why do you feel that way? Or that surprises me, which increases customers' resistance and can close their mind. We've left ourselves only one solution, and that is to display our incredible powers of persuasion or pressure to change their mind and overpower their objection. Instead, think about getting a maybe before we go for the yes. If you do, you'll have more credibility and gain trust from your customers. Try this. Mr. or Mrs. Customer, usually when someone chooses not to enroll in any of the products or services, they tell me it's either the way I have the products grouped or cost. Which is it for you? The customer usually responds with cost. And you might say, that's a common response. If cost wasn't a concern, which two or three products would you choose if I could give them to you? The customer tells you VSC and maintenance. You just got the first part of your maybe. You respond, great choices. Would you share with me why you chose those two? And the customer tells you where they see the value. And then it's important that you respond, you mind if I share something with you that you might not have considered? Sure, the customer says. Now you have the complete maybe. This transition from a no to a maybe relaxes the customer's defensive posture and opens the customer's mind to the possibility and gives you the opportunity to continue to the yes. Next time the customer says no, think to yourself, how can I get a maybe before I go for the yes? If you do, your customers will relax and you'll be able to use logic more effectively to create value and get the yes we all want to hear. And that's your tip of the week. Email me at jtabor at udsdealerservices.com for a transcript or if you'd like to enroll in our free newsletter.